What is good, y'all? It's your boy, The Shells, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Shells World TV. All right, we haven't done a Nukes Top 5 video in a minute, y'all, so this is five ghost videos so scary, you'll cry into your stinky pillow. <laughs> These titles keep getting more and more ridiculous, so y'all, y'all want to go watch the original, the link will be in the description. I still got videos I need to catch up on, but anyway, y'all, let's get right into this thing. Really haunted. Lee from the YouTube channel Really Haunted lives in a house in England that seems to be a hot spot of paranormal activity. Lee has become somewhat of a regular featured channel on my top fives as the activity in his home just seems to get more and more violent. Now, if I remember this guy. He keeps popping up on the compilations a lot. This should be good. To see what I'm talking about, I highly recommend that you check out Lee's channel where he shares all the evidence that he's captured over the last two years. So. In a shocking new video that Lee has uploaded, the paranormal entity that terrorizes his family is captured once again. Lee and his wife Stacy are fast asleep in bed, and then this happens. My bad, y'all. I did not mean to do that. I see the shadow. <laughs> Bruh. Hold on. Let me make sure I saw that right. The shadow was there, right? Oh, 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 oh no, sir. That, that's, wow. It's been a while since I've seen a ghost do that on one of these compilations. It's happened, but Never actually seen it happen in a long time. What's up? I'm back. Bee's wife Stacy is fast asleep when a dark shadow like figure slowly seems to move over to her bedside. Then, without warning, Stacy is pulled violently out of bed, injuring her back. Lee says that the event has left them at I know a lot of people would probably say that this is fake. Only thing is that she genuinely seemed scared in the situation. You know, I'm not saying that people don't fake things for viewers, as I've probably said many times with these type of videos, but this feels like a real situation. So they should move, in my opinion. I don't think they should stay there. But you know how stubborn some people are. Absolutely terrified. Stacy left the house that night to sleep in a caravan outside in their yard, too scared to go back inside the house. The couple says that they have no idea what to do about the violent paranormal activity, and that they have tried everything they can think of to get rid of the dark entity that seems to inhabit their home. Be sure to follow Lee's encounters with the paranormal over on his YouTube channel, Really Haunted. The Eternal Playhouse. Popular paranormal investigator Alberto Del Arco joins psychic medium Luisa Cardenas as they explore a country home in Mexico that is said to be extremely haunted. Even though the house is vacant, locals report seeing strange shadows in the windows. Visitors and guests at the home claim to have seen the spirit of a young girl wandering the property, a girl who tragically drowned in the home's swimming pool. So the team enters the house, and almost immediately they experience something chilling. Okay, so we move. Mira. ¿Qué fue eso, Lisa? No sé, creo que lo vimos todos. Lo tienen todos en su. Estaba allá, güey. Salió de allá. Así fue la niña. Está, está como jugando. Salió de aquí, güey. Aquí estaba. Ay, güey. ¿Oíste? Sí. Man. Listen, the minute I hear a child's voice in a room and toys start moving, it's time to go. I'm not waiting around. I don't want to know anything further. Goodbye. Thank you. Keep the house. I'm good. Yo entendí como ven aquí. Yo vi como un, un balbuceo de, de una niña, un niño, alguien pequeño, pero es, esa bici estaba aquí, salió de aquí, claramente la vimos todos como... Como se movió. Se movió. 
a small child's bike moves on its own, shocking the paranormal investigators. Then a creepy quiet voice can be heard saying in Spanish, Come here. Now already a little creeped out, Alberto and Luisa continue their investigation and head outside to the pool where the young girl is said to have drowned. On an unrelated note, that's a pretty dope jacket that he got on, Alberto. Anyway. Siento aquí, Alberto. Estoy yendo ríos por allá. Oigo como risa. ¿no? Ajá, yo también como una especie de risa. Huele feo, ¿no? Sí. Ay, 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 ay. Vi correr algo. Ay, 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 Vi correr algo. ¿La tienes? No la, la tendrás, Tony. ¿Crees que en tu cama la tengan? Vi algo rápido, rápido corrió como para allá. A ver, vamos para allá. Alberto and Luisa hear the sound of a child giggling, and then Alberto sees a white figure running in the darkness near the pool. Now Alberto seems to be becoming more and more unsettled with each creepy encounter, and when the group continues exploring the pro Bro, that thing looked like a zombie. It didn't look normal at all. I mean, when they enhanced the light, I could see it now, but that did not look normal at all. It becomes clear just how on edge the paranormal investigator really is. It's como si ya se, se empezaron a alborotar. Hoy. Está llorando. Why is it crying? Something touched on the ground. What was that? A leaf. Yes, I saw something white. I saw something white that passed on the side. I saw that something was falling towards you, but I didn't think it was a leaf. Back, 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 back. Another time, the horse, I think. Oh, what a shame! Look at this. Look at something there. Look at something there. Look at something there. Ah, is it sí? La escalera, sí. Estaba bien puesta la escalera. The team hears the unsettling sound of a child crying, and Alberto's anxiety seems to reach its limit as a leaf simply falls near his head and gives him quite a scare. Yo, it be like that. Sometimes you'll think that something's around about to, you know, touch you or whatever, and you just jump. Like it, it's happened many times. Like sometimes you get that that creepy feeling of something crawling on you and nothing's crawling on you. It's happened. It's, it's pretty calm. And a ladder just seems to fall over on its own. The group heads further into the backyard of the creepy country home. What happens next is truly chilling. Mira, eso debió de haber sido como... Como un riachuelito que hicieron, ¿verdad? Atrás. Whoa, sir. Mm -mm. Time to time to go back. I'm not no. No, I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to know. Aquí se asomó, ¿no? Se me hizo ver, sí. te lo juro que se me hizo ver una niña que se asomó. Hasta le alcancé a ver como cabello. Sí. Podría, podría ser su lugar favorito, porque mira, hay juguetes como para una niña pequeña. Hay un espejo, un tocadorcito, hay como una, una carreolita chiquita. Podría ser uno de sus lugares favoritos, pero se vio clara, se vio clarísima. Sí, pudo, pudo seguir jugando. Como ella no es consciente de que falleció, pues para ella todo es juego. Cuando dijiste todo es juego, se escuchó la risa. Sonrió. What looks to be the small head of a child can be seen inside the children's playhouse and quickly moving away from the window. 
The team rushes over to investigate, but they find no one and nothing to explain what they just captured. So, did paranormal investigator Alberto capture the playful spirit of the little girl who lost her life at the home? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Weird World. A segment where all the very strange videos go. In this first very weird video, TikTok user Maggie is recording a short video of a white bunny that's hopping around the streets of La Tabaida, Colombia. However, Maggie is completely unaware that she captured something a lot more interesting. Something downright creepy. I've seen this. A bizarre. I've seen this clip before, in another compilation, but not on Nuke's top five. But but I've seen it before. Now this could just be some great CGI, but I really don't know. But people have some very 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 crazy ways of creating special effects, so you never know. Disembodied pair of legs can be seen running down the. Cause I'm saying they way too calm in this video. Like there should be more um jumpy behavior like this seems like they are used to this or something like i don't know how to feel about that like i feel like they would have been panicking more you know what i mean so it could be fake i don't really know of the street maggie claims that she was completely unaware of the creepy apparition and has no explanation of what she could have recorded so is it cgi a camera glitch or haunted pants. You decide. This next video is part of what might be the weirdest ongoing video series currently on YouTube. A man named Erwin Saunders claims that for the last 25 years he's been searching for rare mystical beings like fairies and pixies in the forests of the United Kingdom. Even weirder, he says he's found them. In a video uploaded on September 30th, 2017, Erwin Saunders finally catches on camera what he describes as a quote, fairy. So th this is a good spot. Uh, we're further down, it's a little bit damper, unfortunately. I'm getting a bit of a wet bottom, um, but it's worth it because this is a good, comfortable, apart from that, comfortable place to sit. And uh, it's you can be seen all around, so I can see, sort of, a, get a good view, but they can. They can spot me, and if I stay here rather calmly for a for a while, I'm hoping that um, they'll come along and see what I'm up to. It's a couple of hours now I've been here. That's quite usual. I mean, uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not discouraged by the fact this is taking a long time. I'm just slightly feel a bit more under pressure than usual because I have because I'm filming uh, it, but it, it always takes a while. Real quick, y'all. Don't he kind of look like, uh... Yeah, he, he definitely looks like Gandalf a bit. J just a... Even looks a little bit like Hagrid from Harry Potter. Even though, you know, I only saw the first one. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> yeah. I just saw one. Um... Just down there. It's very tempting to, to follow him, but that wouldn't do any good because he, he's a scout and he, he wouldn't lead me back to camp if I chased him, he'd just disappear down a, a crack and I wouldn't see him for the rest of the day. And he'd alert everybody else to stay on the ground, so... But he was just down, let me just... It's going to take me a moment just to focus in. He went down there. Keep... Just keep watching up behind me on that ledge. He's just there. Ah, you see? That was a quick glimpse there. I do not see anything at all, sir. No. Okay. No, he's not there. Oh, sorry about that. He was, he was doing a... Oh, there he is. Okay. It's there. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's a little questionable. However, again, that could be CGI. A lot of videos are clickbaity, like on 
on YouTube. So it's hard to discern sometimes what's real and what's not because, you know, anything could be possible. But yeah, there's a little flies. I don't know. I, I need to do something about that. Anyway, man, this could be fake. But what do y'all think? I, I mean, me personally, I think this could just be a, a great CGI video, man. Never know, like I said. Well, at least we've got a shot of, of one. After a lot of patience and waiting, Irwin finally captures what he claims is a fairy creature up on a ledge in the middle of the woods. Now to add to the mystery of this strange channel, Irwin Saunders completely disappeared from his channel back in 2019. Then, after a two-year absence, Saunders just suddenly started posting on his channel again earlier this year. Now, some people believe Irwin's videos are real, and some believe they are fake. And then there are some who just don't care either way, because they say that they thoroughly enjoy Irwin's whimsical fairy hunts. His YouTube comment section is full of loyal viewers that appreciate the magical journey that Irwin takes them on in his oddly soothing and relaxing videos. Certainly not saying that fairies and pixies are real, but check out even more of his strange videos and decide for yourself. I mean, at this point, even with me, if a video is entertaining, I'm going to watch it. You know, it doesn't really matter what the context or really the subject matter is. As long as I find it entertaining, I'll watch it. So, you know, you got a point there. From the YouTube channel, Erwin Saunders. This next weird video is another very mysterious one. I have no idea what the source is or where the video was recorded, but I've been told that it was filmed during a curfew because of the current world health crisis. Did you see it? No. Whoever is recording is completely unaware of a lone scooter driving by. A scooter completely without a driver. It appears to be cruising along entirely on its own. That is weird. So just where is the driver? Yeah. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. The Lonely Spirit of the School Popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiaolong is back with another adventure to an abandoned elementary school in Liaoyang City, China. The old school has a very tragic past, and locals avoid the school at all costs. It is said that long ago, a young female student at the very strict school accidentally dropped her teacher's water cup. For this simple mistake, the cruel teacher severely and cruelly punished the girl, leaving her physically injured and humiliated. The young girl fell into a deep depression, and using pesticides she found in her home, she took her own life. After the horrible incident, other children at the school began to claim to see the apparition of a young girl aimlessly wandering the school hallways. As word of this frightening supernatural activity started to spread amongst the superstitious local parents, they began to take their children out of the school immediately. In the end, the elementary school was left completely abandoned and avoided by locals who believed the property to be the home of the little girl's angry, vengeful spirit. Xiao Long is joined by his friends Xiao Shen and Lao Dai on another live broadcast as they head out to investigate the creepy claims surrounding the abandoned school. When exploring the property, the three friends quickly find themselves face to face with something... Eh, it's kind of terrifying. Sorry. Shoot Hmm? 
哎呦我操，这玩意儿谁做的？这这吓人呢！这不给幼儿园小孩都吓哭了啊！我们那啥，现在突然 ，It do look like Ultraman。Oh wow, it's a good bug, but that one. Oh wow. 瞅瞅，那眼睛还红色儿的，像奥特曼。这奥特曼没变身的时候，我跟你说，这老师给隔壁讲课，隔壁小孩全哭了，是吧？石灰。哎呦我操！这是动了不？是错了不？我垃圾场子，咱这是对的。嗯。还得我龙哥，到啥时候我都佩服龙哥是这一点。Xiao Long and his friends discover a creepy medical mannequin sitting in what they believe used to be a science classroom. They joke around and kick the mannequin before leaving to explore the rest of the abandoned building. What the hell, Xiao Gang? Xiao Long, you want to go see? This magic gun is coming back. 给他摁不下去了！我操！我他妈想起来一个地方，哎呀，蘑菇头。Now I should mention here that when one of Xiao Long's friends begins to talk about a place called "quote Mushroom Head," I was completely confused, and I thought my Chinese translator had maybe just lost his mind. So I messaged Xiao Long about it, and apparently it's a nickname the friends have given to a particular spirit that I featured on this channel before,、mm. and that is the spirit of Bai Shuating, a female ghost who is said to love playing the piano and who Xiao Long encountered in a past video. Xiao、mm. mm. <laughs> Long says that they call the spirit quote Mushroom Head. As a joke, because of her mushroom-like hairstyle. But let's get back to the creepy video. What? 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 Did you see it? Wait. As Xiao Long is talking about summoning the quote mushroom head ghost, someone or something can be seen quickly peeking out from outside the window.、Mm -hmm. The guys decide to set up a static camera to record the piano in hopes of summoning any kind of paranormal activity. While Xiao Long is away to get equipment, Xiao Xin and Lao Dai are left alone inside the creepy piano room, and things take a very、mm, goofy turn. <laughs> And the three friends eventually leave the building to take a break in the car and talk to the live stream audience. They leave their static camera running as they leave. Now again, all of this was recorded and broadcast live, and what their live static camera catches is truly terrifying. I know y'all saw that just move on its own, right? I'm not crazy, and that face wasn't there before. Interesting. Mm-hmm. 
float in the head. Well, I don't like that at all. Oh no. Oh boy. Ah, that's creepy. The creepy head of the medical mannequin moves on its own. Then a light bulb suddenly falls from the ceiling. But most terrifying of all, the face of a child can be seen looking through the school window. Meanwhile, outside in the car, Shaolong and his friends are sent screenshots of the creepy activity that is captured on their live broadcast. They decide to gather their equipment and just get out of there. So did Shaolong, Shaoxin, and Lao Dai capture the ghost of the young child that is said to haunt the school? I'm just saying, the, the head on the medical body for the science room, it was not there before. It looked like it changed a bit. And then the fact that you see that head pop out from the window, very creepy. But you know, uh, I would say this is probably one of the more believable clips in the whole entire video. Yeah. Give it to you to decide. The Cobb Mansion. Ghost hunters and friends Ryan, River, Nick, and Wyatt from the YouTube channel Twin Paranormal travel to the allegedly haunted Cobb Mansion in Virginia City, Nevada. Cobb Mansion was built in 1876 after a devastating fire consumed most of the town of Virginia City. Over the next 145 years, the Grand Mansion was the home of several different families. Then in 2004, the historic Cobb Mansion was renovated into an old-fashioned bed and breakfast. But ever since the mansion has been open to visitors, many guests have reported strange, unexplained paranormal activity. Some visitors claim to have heard strange noises and the sound of music playing. Even creepier, there have been reports of ghostly apparitions being spotted in almost every single room of the mansion. Twin Paranormal was invited to Cobb Mansion by its current owner, Connie Carlson, to do an overnight investigation into the unexplained reports of alleged haunting. The team is on the second floor of the mansion when they begin to ask questions to whatever spiritual presence might be there. And things take a turn toward the bizarre. If there's anybody here, we'd like to know your story. Why you are still in the Cobb Mansion. Whoa. Is that out there? That was loud. Yeah. Is that in the bathroom or out there? It sounds like it was real close, like right here. What was it? You didn't hear it was like it sounded like as if you were to step on the wood. Yeah, like creaking. I yeah. tap I might have. To be honest. Was it, you know those like kind of creak steps ish? Oh, okay. Not full like creaky. Uh, up. There's there's another floor. The upstairs. That could have been exactly where it was. Yeah. Holy Holy my gosh, did you Holy <laughs> you heard that too? Did you not? Where was that? That sounded like someone just did a backflip. I didn't hear any of that. You did not? Did that was so loud. That was I vaguely loud. did. I wasn't sure. Dude, that like actually scared me. That was so loud. I didn't hear anything. That's crazy. In what direction did you hear that? Upstairs? You guys want to go upstairs? I don't know. It was definitely... This place is so big, it's going to be hard to tell. But that, right when you started talking and reacting to the first one, I, it literally sounded like a 300 pound man just jumped as high as he could. The four guys hear the nearby sound of something creaking and then are startled by the much louder sound of a door on the first floor slamming shut. They have no idea where the sound is coming from, but their static camera captures it all. The team heads down to investigate the first floor. They decide to turn on a very old music box and they immediately seem to get some very direct responses on their spirit box app. Why don't you turn on the... Uh... Music box. Music box. Oh, that, that's Dude. gonna creep me out. It says do it. No. Yeah. It legit just do oh it. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? It just said two words, do it. See the handle on the left? Pull it up a little bit. Handle on the left inside. Yeah, pull it up and then put it back down. Us. It just said us. Anything to do with that music box. 
I'll sit right back here and die there. <laughs> Party. Party. <laughs> Party. Now, it's much later into the investigation, and the twin paranormal team again hears the music box. Do y'all think that these apps actually work? You know, the spirit box app. I mean, I, again, I, I don't know. There's always this claim these things can really detect things, but I'll leave it up to y'all to decide that. I just, me, I don't know. I don't know about that. But this time, they are nowhere near it. The music box! I hear it. The That's music, the music box. box, The music box. Was that you that just played the music? The paranormal investigators are all on the second floor when they can hear the music box playing completely on its own on the first floor. Now since the music box isn't electric, it has to be manually cranked. So they have no explanation as to how it could be playing without someone starting it. Next, Twin Paranormal heads up to the third and top floor of the Cobb Mansion. And what happens next is downright creepy. It's the TV. What the? Wait. Yo, the TV just turned on by itself. Where? Yo. Where? The... Wait. No way. Wait. Wow. That's never happened to us. Is that the remote? Wait, where were you guys the whole time? We left. We went to the... Right there. Yeah, because we heard knocking again on the door. And then I heard... I heard... Seemed to me like this ghost want to play. You don't want to really scare them more like just kind of freak them out a bit. You know, between the music box playing and now turning on the TV and making these loud random noises. This ghost seemed more like a troll than, uh, you know, an evil entity. But, eh, I don't know. I thought you played like a video or something. Did you turn the TV on? Can you turn it off? Wait, is that the remote? Can you try it? It has to be. There's nothing else, right? Yep, that's it. This has never happened. Those are footsteps. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> So there's a shadow again. The foot's down to go here. A TV in one of the rooms turns on by itself, and when they turn it off, they hear footsteps coming from somewhere inside the mansion. At that exact same moment downstairs, their static camera is capturing what appears to be a white, translucent figure. It seems to manifest out of thin air and walk slowly from one room to the next. So is Cobb Mansion truly haunted by a paranormal presence? Let me know what you think. You can watch this full two-part series at the Mysterious Cobb Mansion over on the YouTube channel, Twin Paranormal. Okay, so y'all, this was a very good video. You know, it's been, like I said, it's been a while since I did a Nukes Top 5 reaction, but I hope y'all enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed my reaction, then leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe once again. This is Shows World TV. I make reactions, sketches, and vlogs. Don't forget to hit that bell to be notified every time I make a new video. I upload every Thursday, alright? So, follow me on Instagram and Twitter to be updated with everything that I've been doing. I, and all the links for everything else is in the description down below. Once again, thank y'all for watching, alright? So, if you want more reactions like this, then click that Nukes Top 5 playlist right there. And if you want my more recent video, then click that over there. Alright, so I'm going to edit this. Alright, so it's your boy, The Shells, and I will see you guys next time when I upload. Peace.